welcome to Zion's first online meeting. I am Kate Rutger. I'm Lisa McPherson. And this is Crosswalk Middle School Ministry, um, parent meeting 2015-16. So here we go. Let's start with a quick prayer. God of love, may we who have been entrusted with the faith formation of our children be given the grace that we need to carry our job through. Be with us as we go through this year, building relationships and drawing ever closer to you. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our ministry. So Crosswalk Ministry, it is a ministry that is engaging, empowering, and transforming. This is going to be a little Crosswalk 101. What is Crosswalk? Crosswalk is consistent of three different components, as you see here. Um, it involves weekly worship, and this includes family as well. There's also Crosswalk Wednesdays, and then Crosswalk Confirmation Sundays. Um, Crosswalk Wednesdays, you'll hear us refer to it commonly as CWW. So, starting off with Crosswalk Sunday mornings. Here's what happens here for us with middle school um, ministry here on Sunday mornings. We are consistent, like we said, of weekly worship on Sunday mornings, and then also uh, the Crosswalk Confirmation class. And this happens during our education hour. At 10 o'clock. Perfect. 10 till 10.50. 10.50, right? we break into three different classrooms. We have sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders. So weekly worship, it is center to our church. It is vital for our entire faith community, and it is essential to faith development for both youth and their family. Um, it really is the center of who we are here at Zion. Talk a little bit about confirmation here. So confirmation, we're talking about confirmation. Um, it is not a graduation. What it is, is it is our affirmation of baptism. It is a preparation for a deep faith life, um, an active engagement in the life of Zion and beyond. It's also, you can think of it commonly too, as kind of their coming of age um, in the church. So Becoming an adult in the church. Yes. So being able to vote and being able to help make decisions about all sorts of things. Exactly. So this is what Lisa was just talking about a little bit. So Crosswalk Confirmation Sundays um, starts at 10 a.m. like we said. Um, what happens, Lisa actually teaches the sixth grade um, portion. Yep. We go through Bible. We learn Old Testament and New Testament stories and traditions. And then Pastor Connie teaches for the seventh graders. She will go over, she will spend the entire year talking about the small catechism. And they will learn all kinds of good stuff about that and what it is to be Lutheran. Um, I teach the eighth grade class. And we are going to cover a whole lot of stuff in eighth grade. Um, we'll go over world religions. Christian faith, Lutheranism, and small catechism as well. Um, some things that I want to highlight for you guys is September 27th for all of the years um, is Bring Your Parent to Class Day. We'll go over overviews and kind of what's expected um, for each individual class. And, and sometimes we know parents are learning right along with the kids, and that's okay. We learn every time we teach, too. Yeah. So we want the parents to come and be part of this. It's for that one Sunday. Absolutely. Um, for Crosswalk Confirmation Sundays, you can register online um, if this is your child's first year being involved in Sunday education hour. If they've been previously registered in confirmation or if they've been in Kid City, let's say that they're a, return, uh, a new sixth grader, um, they're automatically enrolled. So if you're not new here, don't worry about registration if you are new here. Register online. You just need to go to our homepage, zionanoka.org, um, right? Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. um, and then there is a button there that says register now right on the homepage. So go ahead and register um, right now. All right, so Crosswalk Confirmation. We were talking about the confirmation class. And if you decide that you, um, your student decides that they want to get confirmed at the end of three years, um, during their middle school years if they want to participate in the rite of confirmation and that's a choice that you have to make as a family They are these are the requirements that they need to fill each year So every year they are expected to go ahead and do 20 sermon notes um, They're expected to do 
14 Sunday learning times, so that's what we're talking about with the confirmation classes. Um, they're expected to do one retreat a year, um, and then worship involvement is a 10 points that we're, they're responsible for getting, and we're going to cover that in the next slide, so don't worry if you don't have any idea what we're talking about. This is just the quick cheat sheet. Uh-huh, exactly. And then, um, just to highlight down here, the sixth grade retreat, if you have a sixth grader, know that that is coming up soon super quick here, September 27th. Um, they can register online for that now. Um, the seventh grade retreat is January 9th through 10th, and then the eighth grade retreat um, is at WAPO, and that happens in June, okay? So know that. Worship involvement points, this is what we were just were gonna say we're gonna cover. Lisa will take over talking about worship involvement points. We want you to be actively involved in worship, and so we've developed a way to make it easy for you to do that. Singing in our choir is a way to just do all your worship points that you need for the entire year. That means you have to come on Wednesday nights and practice and be there on Sunday mornings to sing. Um, you have to be part of that for the whole year. Our pop team is brand new this year. That's prayers on other parts. And Pastor Connie will be taking the first six weeks of September and into October. And the pop team will be responsible for helping write some of the prayers that we use in worship. They also might be doing some really creative ways of presenting our gospel and our lessons. Um, this is kind of brand new, and it is a great time to start it, so you can kind of create it along, right along with Pastor Connie and Pastor Kathy and the two of us. Acolyting, uh, you know, going up and snuffing out and lighting those candles, greeting people at the doors, um, and offering music or prelude. If you have a, a gift of music, we would love, the, the congregation loves when kids play the piano, the cello, the trumpet, sing whatever musical gift you are that you, God has given you if you share that with us. So those are the point totals there. So if you want to do the pop team and then you can greet and do something like that, any combination to get to 10 will be great for the year. Perfect. So moving um, right along, the biggest piece that we want you to know and your students to know is that there is a place for them here in Zion mm -hmm. and they belong. Okay, so that, that's, that's vital. One way to think of this, and Kate and I, when we were sitting down planning, is that we've had Sunday morning and Wednesday for a long time, but there's really two paths in middle school. And it's a common road, and we can branch off into two ways. If being confirmed is important to you and your family, and it isn't a sacrament, so you don't have to be confirmed to be part of a church. That's, it's just part of a learning thing. You take the one path of making sure you do all those requirements. Our middle school ministry on Wednesday night, CWW, is there for those kids that maybe have other commitments on Sunday mornings or don't wish to be confirmed. The ultimate is for these two paths to come back to one and participate in both Sunday morning and Wednesday night. So Crosswalk Wednesday is like what Lisa was just talking about, CWW, consists of the choir um, and pop team first and then also Crosswalk small groups. So if you look at our schedule here, um, you'll see that 5.30 is when the students that want to be in choir, and choir is an awesome opportunity for kids. So if they love to sing, our choir is wonderful, be a part of that. Um, so 5.30 is choir or pop team. Um, and then 6.15 till 7.45 is dinner and small group. Um, to register for this, you can go ahead and like we said, register online. All that are participating in Crosswalk Wednesdays do need to register this year. So go ahead and go to our homepage again, register now. The cost for this is $80, and that's for our entire confirmation year, um, with a max, and Lisa can talk about this, of $175. So if you've got kids that are in different ages, little logos, logos, confirmation, middle school age, and high school age, any combination of those, you have 175 maximum, and that's for feeding your kids on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. And as a few parents have said, it is worth every penny because then you don't have to worry about meals before you come to church. And that's part of the fellowship, too, that we share in and sharing a meal together. So $80 per kid, 175 family max. And scholarships are available. We have a lot of generous contributors who have provided scholarships, and so don't hesitate to ask for a scholarship if you need one. Yes, cost should never be something no. in any of our ministries here that should get in your way. No. Um, and also, if, if you are a family that does need a scholarship, um, that's the one piece that registering online won't work for, so you'll need to just apply for the scholarship. Yep. You can just call me or Kate. Yep, so that's perfect there. 
Now on to talking about pop team. Lisa's kind of the expert in this prayers and other parts bit, so we'll let her take that over. As I spoke just a minute ago, um, we've been developing this with the thought that sitting in a pew on a Sunday morning is a lot more interesting when you've had a part in planning that. And so Pastor Connie, Pastor Kathy, Kate and myself have been working on this all summer long to try to make this something that you can really get your teeth into. There's prayers to plan and talk about. Um, we won't ask you to sing because that's what the choir people do. But there's all sorts of really cool ways to present the gospel and to present lessons and stories and to read them to the congregation in a very non-threatening way. And so if you're interested in this, even just to help plan it, this is great. You don't have to be a big upfront person. This is a great place to come and really use your gifts and explore. Plus it's new and we'll create this to be something that works for you guys. All right, small groups. I'm um, just going to take a minute because I think that this, um, I'm not sure if you can see it on your screen very well, um, but it really kind of highlights on what it is to be in small group. Um, it's not just a meeting, um, it's living united. It's a call to action, to lead, participate, connect. They aren't one more thing to do. Small groups are the thing to do. Small groups are doing life together. And the reason why I wanted to share that with you is because as long as we've been doing small groups, the kids will always say that this is what makes the impact in their life. It's their favorite part, and it's why they love their mentors so much, is that this comes to that small group ministry, that, that close-knit community. Exactly. So each small group, for those of you that are new to the program, um, they're partnered with an adult mentor. And this is awesome because it gives our kids another adult outside of their parents or family members. Um, that care about them and love them and can help guide them through middle school, which is a, a really challenging time in, in most of our <laughs> lives. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> no. uh, what they do during this time is they will share their highs and lows. Um, they grow closer together and they also grow closer to God. Um, and it also gives them the opportunity to, be, to pray and be prayed for, which is huge. Um, a reminder, they're always reminded too that they are a child of God and that they are loved. And this is another central piece um, really to our ministry. If the kids take anything from Crosswalk um, Middle School Ministry, I want them to take this, we all do, that they are a child of God and that they are loved. So um, that's, that's center. All right, so talking about this again, we're going back to the circles because I want to highlight something here. Um, if you see the, the, the weekly, I'm not sure how well this shows up on your screen, but there's, two, there's three circles here. Um, again, the weekly worship that involves family as well. Um, Crosswalk Confirmation Sundays and Crosswalk Wednesdays. Um, I have Find Your Sweet Spot, which is this spot right here, the middle. It's where all three of the circles, there's my Vanna. Yes. Love her. <laughs> it's where all of those three circles meet each other. This is where our kids are going to grow the most. This is where they're going to get the most out of this. Um, so we really hope that. Studies have shown that um, kids that are at risk, high risk for depression, suicide, drug and alcohol abuse, and all those things that really, really inflict our, our kids um, is because they don't have enough of these things working with them. You can raise your child, but it takes more than just you doing it. It takes a whole community of doing that. And having all of these components in place really helps ensure that your child has a well-rounded, loving upbringing. And um, we want them to feel part of our community. Absolutely. So some important dates to highlight are um, upcoming dates. Um, September 20th is our first confirmation class. Um, so send your kids to their um, their designated rooms for that then. Yep. Um, September 23rd is the first CWW, which is again Crosswalk um, Wednesdays. September 27th is a date for all of us. Um, it is Bring your mom or dad or grandparent or whoever's important to you to class with you. Great, and it, it's important to bring them there because we'll go over the whole year and what's expected. And I know some of us have different family projects too that we'll be involved in, so um, mm -hmm. be sure to bring your parent to that. And this day is especially special because that's our sixth grade retreat day and we're starting off at 10 o'clock and your kids uh, kids and parents come just for class time. Then we're gonna go to worship together at 11. 
we'll do our first worship notes. If you, if you sixth graders haven't done it already, we're going to do our first worship note together. And then we're going to go right down. Your parents can go home for a few hours, and then we're going to go down to the youth room and the gym, and we're going to play some, oh, maybe some games and do some fun things, and uh, oh, and eat. And so we'll lunch together, and we'll be there um, until 3 o'clock that day. Perfect. And then October 21st, is super exciting because that is the bunker hayride. This is a highlight for both our middle schoolers and um, our high school students. It's super fun and who doesn't love a bonfire and all of that, so bunker hayride. You can register online for that. Again, I'm a repeat record here, but you go register to our online for the online <laughs> register here button. We just put it on there for your convenience, so and it works. Um, something to look forward to. In January, we're going to do a mid-year check-in with each of your families, and we want to schedule a very short conference because we don't want to get to the end of the year and have people say, well, oh, you mean we didn't come to enough classes? Well, this way we can make sure, just like at school, that we're all on track, and then that's a great place to bring any concerns, any questions you might have. And we'll schedule those starting in January, and there'll be a lot more information coming to you about that. And if you hear conferences and what you're hearing is, oh, that's another thing for us to do, um, don't worry about it. It's actually a great way for us to minister to your family, with, like what she had said. You can talk about things that maybe are uh, special, unique to your family, and different ways that we can better love you. As a and family. we get to know your kids, and it's always fun to see your, the, fa the parents, because that always tells us a whole lot. <laughs> Love to meet families. It's great. It's Sorry. Great. All right. Um, so, do you have any questions? Right? It's we'll take questions, to ask questions now. Questions on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kate, I don't. We did such a great job. I don't think there's any questions, any questions today. Crickets. Boy, are we crickets. good? We crickets. Are so good. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and just you online. Thanks for joining us. This has been fun. Yeah, absolutely. And always remember that you are a child of God and that you are loved. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.